what's up what's going on Pisces people I am back at it in effect I hope y'all are doing very well um quick announcement I will be going live very very soon I don't know when but I promise you I'm gonna go live and when I do I'm going to give away something to y'all okay I think it's time for me to do another giveaway if you're og subscribers to this channel you know i've given away money i've given away decks and boxes and all types of prizes for people so we're getting back into that so please make sure you turn on notifications have yourself um you know me set on your subscribe list so you do not miss when i go live all right so let's get into today's reading oh quick shout out to my sponsor keen if you guys are looking for a personal reading i'm not doing them right now i'm so sorry but you can check out one of the spiritual advisors over on keen it's a platform where there's tons of readings that you can get you can get it you can get your first 10 minute reading only a dollar 99 and that's up to 99 dollars in savings okay so please check out my partner keen and let me know how it goes all right so let's get into this reading i'm gonna start off Today's reading with the Pisces Guidance Deck. Y'all already know you can get this deck created by me in the link below. A deck, the only deck for Pisces, okay? So we got change your perception here. Card number four, Pisces. All right, we got two fish in a bowl. All right, some of y'all could be living some sort of domesticated life. You could be in the house a lot. You could feel like you're in a fish bowl right now. You could feel like you got a lot of eyes on you. Could be a sense of just like every, everybody's waiting to see what you do or where you go or what's happening next. All right, for something, for some reason, I feel like some of y'all feel like it's a lot of pressure on you or a lot of eyes on you, okay? In particular, it could be people dealing in a relationship right now, dealing with a partner, somebody who you could have possibly moved in with or something here but things have could things could have gotten stagnant and this suggests that it's time for you to change your perception okay either in a certain situation or your habitat you need to shift something because something is becoming redundant for you Pisces or you just like you're afraid that it's going to dry out or fizzle out or, you know, you're going to get bored or something. So you're definitely being urged to change your perception. OK, also, if it comes to partnerships, you need to see things from other people's points of view. OK, this is this is definitely a signal for you to start looking outside of your own point of view, Pisces, and make sure that you're considering how someone else feels okay so make sure that you're not just all about pisces all the time and, and make sure that if you have a partner or a friend or family member whoever that you give them the benefit of the doubt sometimes and that you also put yourself in their shoes okay pure empathy all right that's what you guys need to embrace at this moment all right let's see can we clarify this for pisces watching Okay, so we have the King of Wands in the reverse. This could mean a few different things. I need to clarify here. What's this King of Wands in the reverse for Pisces watching? What's this King of Wands in the reverse for my Pisces subscribers watching? And we have the Fool here, Major Arcana. Okay, so the Fool upright in the King of Wands that had came in my reverse. Okay, so Pisces. Um, you could be dealing with a player, okay? Somebody who very inconsistent, all right? If you're dealing with a love situation, okay? This could also be you, Pisces, stepping into some sort of new beginning, but you're just not too confident about it, all right? There's a lot of question marks regarding this situation. Um, you don't really see the big picture of something, all right? This is why you've been asked to change your perception, all right, you, you need to give something a, a clean slate, a fresh start. All right, the fool here is advising you to walk out on faith regarding a situation. Okay, let's see, let's, let's clarify. Oh, okay, strength. And that also came in the reverse. So yeah, you're hesitant on doing something. You're hesitant on making like some sort of new start, taking some plunge, some leap of faith. Could be dealing with a Leo. We got the Knight of Cups. Yeah, you're holding back emotionally, Pisces. Knight of Cups in the reverse. You're holding back emotionally. I'm not sure why here. It could be being afraid of this new start with the Fool. You know? It's like you want to step out on the sun. Oh, conflict. 
conflict. Oh, you so you got conflict with this King of Wands person. Some of y'all were dealing with an older uh, fire sign. Leo in particular could be an Aries, could be a Sagittarius, could be any sign. But you're dealing with somebody who was very stubborn, could be a player. They never really followed through with some of their promises. It caused a lot of conflict and a lot of competition, okay? You could be dealing with someone who has multiple people, multiple parties, and there's just a lot of drama, all right? So some of you guys may be forced to change your perception because you can't deal with this drama no more. Yeah, no more drama in my life. I don't ever want to hurt again. I don't know the rest of the words, y'all, but yeah, I just, I ain't even heard that song in like 12 years, but I think that's Mary J. Blige, no more drama. So yeah, y'all gotta, y'all have to back away from this drama. The full card here is telling me that you gotta go into some sort of new path. You gotta change your perception here. There's a lot of fakery, trickery. Look at the seven of cups in the reverse. There's a lot of manipulation, a lot of illusions surrounding you. Okay, and you really need to figure it, figure something out. And you're not going to figure it out if you're sticking around in this situation. See, look, the tower, all this drama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to back away from this drama because the tower is going to fall on all these people dealing with this player or dealing with this, this, this self-absorbed situation and causing conflict between people here, chaos and confusion. This tower is going to drop on anyone associated. Okay, and I feel like you could be sensing this coming up, Pisces. Okay. Could be having dreams, realizations, messages, signals that something ain't going to work out. OK, that you have to change your perception. You have to switch something up, change your environment, change your direction. All right. Two of Wands, you have two choices. At least you have a minimum of two choices of where you can go and what you can do, Pisces. So don't ever think you're trapped. Look at this. As soon as I said trapped, two of swords. So some of y'all are feeling trapped. You're feeling like you're at a standstill. You're feeling like you're at a stalemate like you can't make a move you can't make a decision it's like every time you want to do something mentally you're holding yourself back here why is this look at this the tower came out because you because you sense some impending change or, or fear or something like that you are the empress here pisces all right so you have a lot of natural allure, a natural presence, a natural connection with the divine, with earth, with maternal energy, motherly energy, all right, fatherly energy for some of y'all, take it how it resonates. But at the end of the day, you embody like royalty with the empress here. And this situation that you've been evolving in is lowering who you are is lowering your standards, okay? If this is drama that you've been dealing with in any facet, you know that you're above it. You know you're way above it. And once once this tower hits, you're going to blame yourself like, damn, I should have known better. I should have moved forward. I should have did something different. I should have stopped dealing with this person, okay? So some of you guys know what this is. This could be an upcoming change. Some of you guys could be changing workplaces. This could be um, in regards to pregnancy or something some of y'all could be getting pregnant with the empress here and this is not a good thing because you could be getting pregnant with somebody who has a lot of different options or maybe a lot of different like kids with other people or something like that it's just a lot of drama here and you feel stuck and trapped to a situation all right and that's just for a few of y'all um i'm going to pull another pisces guidance card let's see what's the advice here we saw pisces energy watching what's pisces advice for those watching who are subscribed to my channel god and your spirit universe okay so relax that's great relax and release two r's beautiful i love these cards all right so relax and release we got card number 19 and card number 30 all right so spirit is carrying you where you need to go you are going to be like 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 that first card said change your perception you're going to shift something here you see this is oh my god this is so divine y'all because these two cards go together this is literally when i created this deck i meant for these two cards to go together even though you know this is card number four this is card number 30 but as you can tell from this story these two fish that were in this fish bowl you know something was telling them change their perception or at least get ready to change their environment or get ready to shift something right and look what happens here release they're getting released from this fishbowl 
into a wider pond or an ocean or a larger body of water where they're going to experience so many things that they didn't even know were possible. This is outside the realm of even imagination because when you're in a fishbowl your whole life, you're thinking that's it. This is the only environment I'll ever be in. So there's something about you releasing some sort of preconceived thought of yourself or maybe you had yourself in this box, Pisces, and you're breaking out of that box, all right? Release is the advice here. Okay, and once you do that, you're going to expand yourself. All right, you're going to touch a lot, many, um, you're going to touch many places that you never thought you would. All right, I'm getting very tongue tied, y'all. But um, expansion is what I feel. And relax just means, hey, just sit back. It's all going to come to you. You ain't got to chase it. It's going to come to you. All right. You just need to be ready to go when, when spirit says go. All right. So make sure you keep that connection tight with spirit, with God, whoever you believe in, make sure you keep that connection tight y'all because this divinity that, that we're tapped into here, you can't take it for granted. You can't because it's so easy to just slip up and be very worldly and forget about the spirituality in life. And then you're going to be out here looking lost and miserable and sad and depressed. And you don't know why. OK, it's because you got to tap back into your spirituality. You have to tap back into your divinity and knowing who's your creator and and just believing that if you relax and you release Things will fall into place because that's how it's meant to be. This is your fate. This is your destiny. All right. So don't be afraid of any shifts that's happening. Don't be afraid if you get fired or dumped or whatever it is. It's literally a setup for a comeback. It's it's a bigger blessing ahead. All right. So Pisces, I truly hope these messages helped you. Please let me know if they did in the comments below. And if you are feeling this reading, please leave me a fish emoji. All right. To rep Pisces today, leave me a fish emoji. Um, I'm going to be giving away something soon. So make sure you are subscribed and turn on notifications so you do not miss when I go live. And also check out my partner, Keen. If you're looking for a personal reading, you can get your first 10 minute reading for only $1.99. Link is below. All right. Till next time. Bye.